While collecting data can be a digital technology's challenge in itself, creating efficient spreadsheet interfaces, online surveys, data collection apps, through to remotely and automatically collecting data using sensors, to be useful, this data needs to be turned into information. It needs to be managed and analysed. One way of doing this is looking for trends in the data that students have collected about X problems. And by representing this data in various ways that makes these evident. Now this may include images, wordles, tables, graphs, infographics, and other data visualizations. And in doing so, students should develop their understanding of how digital technologies increases our ability to collect, manage, and analyze data. But progressively, we need to move from representing such data on paper through to using simple spreadsheets and data tables, then to designing and developing information systems, online shared information systems, and how we can link to live dynamic data sources that are automated and constantly updated. For young students, trend data might be collected from family and friends, while for older students exploring X problems that increase in scale, scope and time frame, they could access historical records, online data banks, survey real world communities and make contacts with experts in the X problem being explored. Trends are generally seen in data collected over time, such as climate data, um, the famous example of microchip capabilities, population data and demographic information, but can also exist in other areas, such as fashion and design. But trends are also around the sharing of ideas, memes, news and video. For example, we see on Twitter, Google and YouTube. Now, once enough data has been collected, it can be extrapolated into the future by continuing the trend, often represented using graphs with the trend line continuing past the current date. However, trend extrapolation need not be linear, as trends can also be seasonal, occurring each year, such as around holidays or yearly um, seasonal events, or cyclical, where events tend to recur at predictable intervals, such as with conflicts or global economic recessions and expansions. Now, students exploring an X problem on health effects associated with soft drinks, for example, may notice a general trend in increasing sales relating to population increases, a seasonal trend relating to increasing popularity in summer and during major holiday and sporting events, and a cyclical trend relating to diet fads. Now there's a wealth of online open data sources available today, with major sources being the Australian Bureau of Statistics, um, data.gov.au, the OECD, Amazon Public Data Sets, Google Public Data Explorer, and Wikidata. And students can use this data to analyse the trends related to their X problem. But there also exists analyses already conducted on various problems, and these may provide additional perspectives for students in understanding their X problem.